Hey YouTube, this is Crystal L and I am back. Yeah, I know it's been a really long time, but I am back with a really fun DIY. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to make these super cute little canisters made with washi tape and some Mod Podge. So you guys, this craft is actually like super simple. Again, all we're gonna do is just use some washi tape to cover up these uh, canisters and then we'll seal it in with some Mod Podge. And um, this is just like a really great little DIY that uh, you can do. Uh, you can just take these little tea tins like I have here and cover it up with some washi tape and give a whole new use for them. Now, these I did uh, some time ago, actually probably a couple of years ago, but um, I have some other bottles that I wanted to try out. So this is actually, um, I just finished off this candle and I thought about maybe saving it. Well, I definitely wanted to save this, but um, I thought I really would like to reuse it and not toss it out or recycle it because I think this is a great jar and I definitely didn't want to get rid of it. And then I thought this would be kind of fun too. This is like an old uh, uh, soda bottle and um, I just cleaned it off. I removed all the labeling and got that nice and clean. And I thought this would make a really interesting uh, craft as well to try to cover this up with the washi tape and see what effect it would have. And I think it would make a really pretty like flower vase. So. We'll try that one as well. So let's go actually start here with this old candle container. And I have some washi tapes here that I will be using. Actually, I think I'll be using this one here, but this is also um, Recollections. So both of these are Recollections washi tapes that you can buy from Michaels or buy them online. So I'm gonna use this set right here. And I'm also gonna use this the washi tapes that I use for this canister as well, and they're actually all inside. So again, this is a really great way that you can use, um, reuse, you know, old materials and, and redecorate them so that they can be used again. So I'm just gonna put those off to the side right now. So these are all of these washi tapes. And I'm just gonna put these off to the side for right now. Okay, I'm gonna use this pattern here to help me create, recreate the pattern for um, this uh, container. So I'm just gonna get out these washi tapes. And it really doesn't matter how you do this. I mean, this is completely you know, it's completely up to you and how you want to sequence your materials. And that's kind of the fun thing about arts and crafts is that you can always make something your own. You don't have to follow um, any type of pattern if you don't want to. So I'm gonna start here with this, this gold striped green and blue washi tape. So again, just really simply what we're gonna do is just gonna take this tape I'm gonna take it this direction. This will be a lot easier. And I'm just going to align this tape to the bottom of the canister and of the bottle. Now this is interesting because it has like a little ridge here on the bottom. I think I'm gonna just set this tape right on top of the ridge so that it'll actually be that ridge will be clear on the bottom. And then basically you're just gonna pull this tape taut and wrap it all the way around. Make sure not to get any wrinkles in the tape, just kind of smooth them out a little bit. I'm just gonna find a place where I can cut it. Let me pull that back and just re-straighten it. So that's gonna be like, that's kind of the, little bit of the trick is just making sure that you pull the tape as taut as possible to make sure that it doesn't have any wrinkles in it, or as few wrinkles as possible. 
and that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna continue on with the other tapes. So I'm just gonna start where that seam ended, where that seam begins and continue. So I finished covering the entire uh, outer section of the canister. So now I'm going to also wrap the top with some washi tape. And I'm just gonna make sure that this overlaps um, a little bit on the bottom as well so I can fold it under. Right now I'm just zooming in so you can get a better look at how I am wrapping this tape around the lid of the candle jar and just making sure that I am wrapping and smoothing underneath the lid and just fitting it on top just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and it's not impeding uh, the application of the lid with the tape on it. Now I'm taking some more tape and I just need to close up the gap between the top of the tape and the center of the lid. So I'm just going to take this tape, wrapping it around. And then trimming where I need to trim it. And now I'm just gonna fold over onto the lid so it starts to close up the circle you know, inside of the lid. And it's perfectly fine to have the creases because it's really just for decoration. Um, I'm not worried about the words being legible or, you know, be, people being able to read it because it's just for decoration. Now I'm just smoothing it out and just trying to get as smooth as possible. Now I'm gonna take some decorative paper and my hole punch. And I, this is an, a two inch hole punch. And I'm going to apply some glue to the back of that circle. And apply that to the top of the lid. So it closes up that gap and you can't see the metal lid showing through. And then I have a nice decorated lid. Now I'm ready to Mod Podge the entire jar. So I'm starting with the lid and just covering it with a layer of Mod Podge. It really is up to you how you apply the Mod Podge. You will see some strokes, just the type of brush that I'm using, you're gonna see some strokes from uh, how I applied it. So as you can see right now, I'm just applying it and just trying to get on as much uh, of the Mod Podge, uh, a co good coating of that as I can. And just making sure I cover all of the washi tape. And now I'm going through and I'm going through and making sure that the strokes are going one direction horizontally. Now I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna let it dry. Now I'm taking the glass soda bottle and I'm gonna start adding the tape to the glass soda bottle just the same way that I did with the candle jar. 
and following the pattern that I had on my canister that I had used previously. Just smoothing it out on the bottom and pretty much just keep going until you get as high as you can. Now, as you notice the coat, the, the soda bottle begins to curve and it makes it difficult to get a nice smooth wrap with the washi tape. So you just kind of had to take your time with this. Now, I wasn't necessarily aiming for perfection, but I did want to lay it flat as I could. So I added some slits with the scissors to the top of the tape so that I could fold the tape onto the glass, onto the contours of the bottle as best as I could and try to get it as smooth as I could get it. And basically you're just gonna keep doing the same thing as the bottle curves. The best way to go about it is to go ahead and, and once you get the, the right measure of tape, and, and this, this washi tape here is fabric based, so there's like a backing on it, which I'll have to remove. But as you see here, I'm, I'm cutting some slits into the tape and then wrapping it around the same way that I did the previous washi tape. And the slits, again, just help make the flat tape fit around the contours of the bottle a little easier. And again, I'm just smoothing this down. There will be some wrinkling, so I'm not aiming for perfection here. But one thing I kind of like, I do like some of the some of the seams or some of the wrinkles. I feel like adds a little bit of texture and character to the bottle. So it's okay if it's not 100% perfect. But I am smoothing out as much as I possibly can. Uh, before I add the Mod Podge. And basically just, like I said before, just continue on up. It's gonna get a little bit easier because the uh, neck of the bottle does uh, even out a little bit. It becomes a little straighter, but I'm still just going ahead and slitting the tape to give it a little more flexibility. And here I'm just adding a, some, some slits and, and cutting in some very like narrow little triangles. And I thought I'd test this out to see if it'll make it easier to wrap this tape around the bottle. Just smoothing it out. So I'm pretty much done here. Now I'm just going to wrap my last little bit of tape. And finishing out the neck of the bottle. I'm just kind of looking over it and smoothing out a little bit and now I'm ready to add the Mod Podge. So again, I'm just applying very liberally and brushing all over the bottle. No, I don't really care too much right now about which direction I'm brushing. I'm just trying to get it on as quickly as possible. Now I'm just finishing out this last layer here and letting the bottle dry. And these are the final results. I added a few embellishments to the two bottles and to the lid of the camel jar. So I add like a little butterfly to one of the bottles and the camel jar lid. And then I added this piece of twine and a cutout sticker. I hope you enjoyed this fun DIY tutorial and I would love to know how this worked for you if you tried it. So let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.